Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the integumentary system. Let me ask you a question. What do you think is the biggest organ we have in our body? It's not the brain. It's not the lungs. It's the skin. Yes, our skin is an organ and it is part of one of the body systems we have, the integumentary system, which also includes our hair and nails although they are mostly dead cells. So how important is the skin? As we grow up, we become more aware of how important our skin is. It covers and protects everything inside your body. Without skin, people's muscles, bones, and organs would be hanging out all over the place. Yikes, that would be horrifying. The skin also helps to protect the body from infection and repels water. It also allows us to control our body temperature and more importantly, it makes us feel things. In other words, it gives us the sense of touch. So what is it made of? The skin is made up of three layers, each with its own important parts. The layer on the outside is called the epidermis. The epidermis is the part of your skin you can see and it's at constant work because at the bottom of the epidermis, new skin cells are forming. Newer cells move up to your skin and replace older cells that die on the surface of your skin. So basically, what you see on your hands are just dead skin cells. Eventually, they are peeled off slowly without you noticing. Fun fact learners, did you know that every minute of the day will lose about 30,000 to 40,000 dead skin cells of the surface of our skin? Yes, that's every minute. And that's 4 kilograms of skin in a year. But don't think your skin might wear out because your epidermis is always replacing those cells. The epidermis also has a substance called melanin. It gives skin its color. The darker your skin, the more melanin you have. If you go out into the sun, the skin cells make extra melanin to protect you from the sun's ultraviolet rays. That's why you get tanned from sun bathing. The next layer below is the dermis. It contains nerve endings, blood vessels, oil glands, and sweat glands. It also contains collagen and elastin, which are tough and stretchy. The nerve endings are actually a part of the nervous system, and it is the one that makes you feel things. When you touch something, the nerves send a message to the brain about it. And it's very fast messaging, like a split second to react to possible danger, like touching a hot kettle. Because if you don't react fast, you'll get burned. Dermis has a lot of blood vessels so that each part of the body is well fed with oxygen. It also contains the oil glands, or sebaceous glands, that produce sebum that makes your skin moist and healthy. Dermis also contains the sweat glands where sweat is produced and goes out to your pores. Fun question learners, why do we sweat? Well, that's our body's response to temperaturize of our body or overheating. That's why we sweat when we do something like running or exercising. Or in other words, we sweat to cool down our body. Lastly, the third and bottom layer of the skin is called the subcutaneous layer. It is made mostly of fat and helps your body stay warm and absorb shocks. Like if you fall into something, you will feel less hurt. It feels more like a cushion. I guess that's the advantage of having more fats in your body. The subcutaneous layer also helps your skin to stick all the tissues underneath it. This layer is also where you can find the roots of your hair. Each hair or follicle rises up passing the dermis and epidermis. The skin can heal itself. If the skin is burned, depending on the burn, the skin can heal. Okay, let's go to hair and nails. Hair and nails play an important role in the body. Even though they are dead cells, they still have some function besides from being pretty. Hair grows when there are new cells that form in the skin. Hair also protects your ears. It is made of a protein substance called keratin. 
Hair is only found in mammals. Hair in our body takes many forms. Hair in our head and skin protects the body from heat loss. Eyelashes and eyebrows protect the eyes from dirt, water, and the other irritants that flow in the air. Hairs in the nose drop particles so that we don't inhale them. Nails, on the other hand, aren't just for scratching. They do have more important roles too. They help protect the fingers and toes from different types of injuries. They are made of epider epidermal cells that are thick and strong. Nails, just like our hair, are made up of more keratin that makes it hard. Nails also help to keep the fingers from bending backwards, otherwise we would be in a lot of pain. Now unlike other organs like your lungs, heart and brain, your skin is best when washed and clean with water and soap so that it's healthy and away from diseases. And don't forget to cover scrapes and cuts with a clean bandage to keep the dirt out and help prevent infections. So learners, now we've learned a lot of yet another body system. Always remember to clean your body to prevent sickness. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.